It's official, everyone. The awesome change is finally coming to Fallout 76. We can now officially change individual stars. So in this video, make sure you stay to the very end because I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the new legendary crafting system, the changes, and the things you need to be doing right now to prepare for September 3rd. So the first major change coming is that we will be able to scrap our legendary items at workbenches and we have a chance to actually learn the box mods from doing them and it's going to require a lot of scrapping. But once you have learned mods, you can go to the Tinkerer's workbench and using an item that we will list here, uh, I have a link down in the description. These are for the weapons and this is a list of the extra items that you need for armor. But you could take these with the cost of modules plus the item and you can actually craft the box mod yourself and you will be able to take those to the bench and put them on yourself legendary cores are now officially gone from the game there is going to be a conversion all your legendary cores are going to turn into script and to accommodate that just in case you're already at 6,000 and you had 5,000 cores the new script limit is going to be 11,000 so now also another big change is when you go to craft an item like such as secret service it's going to come with zero stars so each item that you you put on there is going to cost 15 modules to go and craft it and once you do that you can go just like you would mod any other item and you can add it plus the cost of script plus the legendary box mod and it will put it right on there for you now, if you do have one item and you want to keep on changing one particular star on it, you will see here that the cost of script goes up exponentially. I believe, from what I've read, it maxes out at 1,000 script if you want to keep on doing it. So make sure that you have a game plan for doing your mods because you'd like to do it once and done. So now you can see how awesome this is. It will change the way that we actually approach crafting and changing stuff. It's going to be... Just like you would change, put on a jetpack or anything on your gear, now you can go and just take the box mods and put on the stars that you want. So a very big change. So now let's go over the things that you should be doing right now to get prepared. So it's going to require a lot of scrapping of items to be able to learn all the possible box mods. So what you definitely should be doing from now until then and also afterwards is saving up all of your actual script items to go and scrap them all to the point at which you have learned all the possible things and this is going to be a long arduous grind but if you can spend a little bit of time now getting it all prepared you're definitely going to be having a huge leg up and uh also what you really want to do is make sure that you have a very good amount of armor because you want to be able to learn all the box mods that come up with armor you want to make sure that you have a large selection of melee items to learn all the ones like, you know, 40 power attack and all the different ones that are specifically from there and also regular weapons. Now, also, there's going to be another big change. You have to rethink how you look at stars. The important stars are going to be the ones that are the third stars, the second stars, and the first star are going to be a lot easier and cheaper to, to make. So also right now, whatever script that you're going to get, make sure you just get the enough of each different types of scrap uh, but definitely hold on to the ones that you want to uh, change later like personally I'm, I really want a full set of civil engineer god rolls so I went and crafted a bazonkas amount of them and I set aside all the ones that had really good second and third stars and uh, so that I can get my unyielding AP weapon weight my unyielding intelligence weapon weight my sentinel sets and all of that now, another really good thing that you can do because of the fact that legendary cores are going to be uh, changed into script and the total amount of cost of modules and everything that are going to be needed in the update. Uh, right now is a really good time to blow through all of your legendary cores and modules. You know, if there's a particular gun that you wanted to make sure that you can get a certain god roll, um, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and craft a bejesus amount of them to get rid of your cores, to have a big selection of items to go and scrap. And uh, also another really big thing that you can do, especially the night before the update, since right now it costs one legendary module to craft a secret service uh, for your armor needs. If you have a lot of extra modules, you can go and craft, basically get your weight to max the night before and go and scrap them to learn all the mods. And also if you get a lot of really awesome AP weapon weights or just a a full set of weapon weight or whatever the the particular third and second stars that you want 
you can save those and have a much easier and cheaper way to get them all done on the next day. So uh, to get all the script that you want to store up here in the time before the patch comes out, you can utilize the fact that you have five accounts that uh, you can mess around with, or five alts actually. So what you could do is basically, even if you don't have any of them made, you can go and make some level twos. It only takes a few minutes to get a level two and you can fill up the alt stash and, or, and also their bags with a bunch of stuff. Now the easiest way to do this is to, if you have a friend that's online, you know, if you have a friend from Discord or anyone, somebody that you can talk to and have them uh, basically be on the server so you can go and drop off a bunch of stuff to them. And when you go and log into another dude, you can go and have them place it all back and you can transfer it to your other alt, which is a really awesome thing to do. Now, let's say that you do not actually have a friend that's online. Another way that you can do that is if you basically just go join a team and make sure that there are some people that are going to be on uh, you can actually go and add them all to friends and basically just wait until one person does accept your friend request. And then you can go and find a container in somewhere and make sure that you never, this goes for at all times, never drop anything in a bag on the ground unless you want it to be deleted, basically. But go and find a container and go fill it up with all of the stuff that you want to transfer. As soon as uh, somebody does add to friends and accepts it, you can fill up the container, you can log out, log back into the character that you want to hold it on, and uh, go and grab it and fill it up. Now it's always going to be better, if, you know, if you do ask somebody in voice chat or anything to make sure that they will stay on, because uh, you can get uh, get screwed over and put all the stuff in the container, and the person that you added uh, logs off on that that little second or two that you were transferring your uh, to your other alt. So definitely be careful. But if you do have a Fallout first, obviously it's going to be extremely easy for you. You just log on to your private server. You go fill up the stuff in a in a container and log out immediately and go log into another one. You do have a couple minutes of time before the um, private server will close. So just a general rule of thumb on your private server. If you're going to be filling up a container to transfer to your alts, make sure that you're going to be able to just log out and log into your other dude immediately. And uh, rock and roll. I am super hyped. I am super excited. There are links to the resources that I mentioned in here. And definitely make sure you hit, click like and subscribe and uh, rock and roll. So please let me know if you guys are excited and if there are any other little tips that you guys have to share, definitely post them down in the comments. There's also a link to our Discord if you want to come hang out in there. And also make sure that you are around and subscribe and click the notification bell because I am going to be streaming on day one of scrapping tens of thousands of different things so I can learn every single possible box mod on day one. So we will see you out in the wasteland in full god rolls.